Today I'm heading over to Hong Kong and I had to visit this guy. I saw this guy, an old Jaffrey. He uh, makes these crazy beautiful little glass creatures. And he's making me a dumpling right now. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Never mind, that was probably the worst lounge in existence of existence. So we're gonna just go to the gate. And before I forget, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Squarespace who's sponsoring this video. All right, let's go to Hong Kong. Hello, thank you. Thank you. Flying to Hong Kong and I'm flying Turkish Airlines business class. One thing I have heard about this business class is the amazing food options available and how like the person serving the food, it's, it's dressed like a chef. I don't know if they're actually the chef, but they're dressed like the chef. So it's a connection from here to Istanbul, about four hour flight. And then we're gonna go from Istanbul to Hong Kong. Now in between, I'm gonna be experiencing what a lot of people consider one of the best lounges in the world. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't eaten all day in preparation for this flight meal. So let's eat. Hi, yeah, thank you. I have no idea what this is. Obviously, this being the shorter flight, it's not gonna have an extensive menu. So we got Turkish meze, which I love. Grilled Turkish style meatballs or grilled swordfish. I'm thinking meatballs, selection of cheese, mango panna cotta, fresh bread. This is really just a preview meal. I mean, we're gonna eat here, then we're gonna go eat in the lounge. That's when the feasting's gonna happen. First meal, some meze, big plant, yogurt, <clears throat> beef and squash, some rice. Never go wrong with hummus in the Middle East. Flavor is nice, a little dry. I'm really not expecting much out of this. This is really just my stopover for me until we get to Istanbul. See you in a bit. Just landed in Istanbul. This is one of the biggest airports I've ever been in. I've been walking for about 20 minutes nonstop. And I'm maybe halfway there. What a beautiful airport. So fancy schmancy, huh? Gold color everywhere, bright, spacious. Now let's go find the supposedly god of all lounges. Ooh, so luxurious. Look at this. It's like a freaking like wall of a TV screen right here. Internet access. Okay. Okay, so this is really cool. You can put your bag in here. Wow, so this is it. This is the private suite that he gave you at Turkish Airlines. I didn't even know about this until a friend told me that they had this available. So you basically have to be flying business class and your layover has to be over like four hours or something. Mine's about six. And there's a bed. Fruits, water, phone, plugs, slippers. This is so amazingly cool. And there's the airport right outside your window. You can take a nap or do whatever the heck you want. You can take a shower, sleep, rest, work. But you know what I'm doing? I'm eating. If I didn't have a suite, I would just put my stuff in this locker. It's really convenient. Again, the 20 story TV set, piano. This lounge is just incredibly elegant and beautiful. Live cooking stations. Ah, the little Turkish dumplings. They make it fresh. That's awesome. The other station is grilling meat. Some fish and beef. Look at this section. And it's basically a bunch of tea and coffee. Freshly brewed tea. I mean, it's not even in bags. All the dishes at this lounge is freshly made. Like everything is freshly made. Down to the dough, all fresh. Yogurt drink, I had this before. This lounge is absolutely massive. And what do we have here? Rice, spices, moussaka. This lounge is basically an entire corridor in the airport. Look at this, salads, olives, hummus, fresh, delicious. Like everything is fresh. Oh, what is that? 
bread. I had this in Turkey. Amazing. And we got an Asian section here. Got some noodles, stir fry, pasta of the day, bagel cart. Oh, look at this. You can race cars here. Oh my gosh, look at this. A little, little model of uh, Istanbul. How do you work this? You have a controller in here. Yeah? Just you have to press the top button. Press the top button? Yeah. That's it? Exactly. Okay, go. Woohoo! Okay, that was marginally fun. Oh my gosh, look at this. Dessert section. Oh, baklava. This is unbelievable. And if Turkish dessert's not your thing, okay, there's cakes, pastries, whatever else you want. All sorts of milk, sparkling water, juices, regular water, alcohol, whatever you want. Okay, enough admiring. Let's eat something. Or, you know, we're gonna eat it all. Ooh, salad with tahini. You guys make everything fresh, right? Yes. Oh, it's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's so many to choose from. Fresh tea. You gotta put your tea in a little teapot. Mixing a little jasmine with a little chamomile. Yes. Country butter. Heck yeah. There we go. Lounge feast commencing. Oh, forgot the most important thing. Gotta get some sweets. Now my feast looks complete. Ooh, the dumplings. Can I get an order of uh, the dumplings? Thank you. Thank you, sir. A little oregano, a little chilies. People are walking by my table giving me weird looks thinking this is maybe for like three people. Just a little of me. Kind of overdid it a little bit. Try not to, but really couldn't resist. Because on the flight, it's gonna be awesome food as well. So, this is a foodie problem right here. Okay, let me start with, uh, let me start with the dumplings. This is so good. <sighs> yeah, if you guys never had this before, like I said, a little dumpling, a little ravioli. The skin is nice and tender, really meaty. A little chunks of meat. In fact, it's a huge flavor. A little spicy from the chilies, yogurt cruise it right down. A little bread. You hear the crunch, right? Out of all the airline lounges I've been to, and you guys been with me to all of them. I basically, whenever I find a good lounge, I make sure to film it. There has never been one like this, at least food-wise, never. I mean, the only thing that comes close is um, the Polaris Lounge by United. There's a menu, but this is so, everything fresh. But they bake the bagels here. Oh, look at that loaded beef in this bread. That was a good choice not to eat today. You now I kind of wish I didn't get on the plane. That food was just so good. Mm. Mm. Kebab. Basically, it's a meat patty. So it's ground meat and spices kind of combined together. So it's not like a, like a steak. Really flavorful. A little dry, really flavorful. Oh, this roast chili is so good. Oh, this has so much potential. The flavor as soon as it went into my mouth, unbelievable. I feel like my taste buds should be running for cover from this flavor bomb. But then it's dry, and that just ruins everything. Otherwise, oh man, this flavor is so bad. I don't know why I got chicken. Usually I try to stay away from chicken, because you always run the risk of it being pretty dry. I think I was just kind of on a food high and just wanted everything. I usually don't praise vegetables that much, but good veggies. And this, I'm forgetting the official names of these things, but these are all things I had in uh, Istanbul. Ridiculously awesome. Love these crisps. Love it. I ate this so much while I was in Turkey. This is all restaurant quality stuff. Mm -hmm. Right here at the lounge, you can eat as much as you want. I thought I got a lot. I'm almost done. <sighs> it is a really spicy chili. This thing, this is the enemy, the temptress of the food world. <sighs> Bread. 
much as I try, I can't resist it. So good, yet so bad. Dessert time. Mm. Ah, so good. This is one of those stress relieving foods where you could have a billion worries in the world. I take one bite. Everything goes away for at least a couple seconds. One thing I don't like about Turkish desserts is that they're so yummy and buttery, but they're so heavy and sweet. So you gotta have some tea with it. And if you eat all this, I'm coming, here we come. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. yeah. This is the business class section. So first impression, this is what the seats look like. They're pretty close together. Even the section seats. So this is one of those business classes where if you need to go pee, if you're sitting inside, you're gonna have to step over somebody. But it's a huge section right here. That's a massive amount of space. And it's good that they have little separators here. So you have a little privacy from your neighbor. So you're sitting down. It's definitely a ton of space. One thing I would say is when you're like on the aisle, it's kind of close to the aisle, so it's a bit narrower than most business class seats. I feel like this space is huge, but the individual spaces are, are kind of small. Uh, and I don't know if every plane is laid out like this, two, three, and two, but yeah, it is a little bit snug. It's long though, but the reason I'm taking this flight is mainly for the food. You, you saw the guy in the chef's hat up, up front, right? That's what we're here for. And if the lounge is any indication, the food is going to be amazing. Hello. Hey, I'm hi, how are you? Yeah, Good, hi. Huh? Are you cooking everything fresh on the flight? It's a force, yeah. Oh, yeah? Let's see what's in the goodie bag. Okay, uh, blanket, slippers, good place to store things. Amenity bag, just toss that in there. All right, movies, let's see. So you have a large selection of movies. That's gonna keep you entertained for the entire flight for sure. Now, I think the way I remember it being online, there's not gonna be anybody near me. So I think if that's the case, I'm gonna take the middle seat or something. Basically, Turkish Airlines is also just like Qatar. You can eat whenever you want. There's no set meal times. They give you this menu and you just basically fill out and check off whatever you wanna eat or drink. So breakfast, juice, milk, a bunch of traditional breakfast items. That is amazing. Oh, this is too. Homemade cold tea. Oh, this looks good. Company tea looks good. Ah, die on demand. Meze is amazing. Potpourri of seafood. Creamy roasted red pepper soups. Grilled seafood sounds great. This is great stuff. Chicken bruschetta. Traditional Turkish dessert. So I'm thinking grilled seafood, maybe some doma later. I want the meze. Meze? Yes. Do you recommend the soup? Yeah. Oh, get the soup. The uh, potpourri of grilled seafood. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. And a fried vegetable pie. A little eggplant wrapped around some cheese. The meze doesn't look the best. This thing is drier than Las Vegas. That went down horribly. Oh, spinach pastry. So pep. The eggplant and cheese is probably the best thing on this plate. But in general, not that good. I think the measure is not as good as uh, the car, but still pretty solid and tasty. the red pepper soup testing on the table right now smoky tomatoes very creamy mm. you taste the smokiness of the red peppers that's better than most soups I've had at restaurants this is basically a grilled seafood platter with the red peppers some mashed potatoes and wings the shrimp looks like it's well seasoned the key is whether the fish is dry it's pretty good a swordfish, a little on the dry side, but I've had drier in restaurants. Flavor is good. Actually, it tastes like it just came off the grill. The fish on top is actually delicious. Season really well, pretty juicy. Mm. Sounds 
good, nice and tender. I love the potatoes. I also got a doma platter, and uh, we have the minced beef stuffed inside a zucchini, and vine leaves, and then minced beef inside an eggplant as well. Basically, it's just minced beef wearing different types of outfits. And on top, a little yogurt. It's not bad. Minced meat is good, very flavorful. But I definitely think I like the seafood platter much better. A little too much tomato for my taste. The tomato is pretty much kind of covering up all the other flavors. Finally, a chocolate souffle. But this actually does taste like someone just made this in the back of the plane somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's so light, it's, it's as if this plane stops somewhere like up in the heavens and pick this thing up. Best part of this meal. Mm. Perfect with tea. Now, <sighs> go to bed. See you in the morning. Welcome to Hong Kong. Climate, it's humid. Customs was just as I remembered it. No one said a single word to me, <laughs> but it's very quick, very efficient. I got my luggage already, gotta catch a cab. Uh, I got a dinner tonight to, to get to. So happy I'm here. It is not hot, but oh my gosh, the humidity. Oh, I feel like I just took a cool shower. As soon as I walked out the door, I felt like Hong Kong just licked me all over. That was a long trip. Oh, check this out, guys. Look at the view out my, oh, it's a little foggy, but that's the bay, and that's Kowloon over there. I, I wish you could see this. And like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is in partnership with Squarespace. And if you guys don't know, Squarespace is a really cool tool to help you build your own website, especially if you don't know anything about coding or design or have any artistic cells whatsoever like myself. They got a ton of professionally designed layouts, really easy to use. Even I did it, I built my own website with it. And that's saying something because I'm really bad at all this stuff. So if you guys are starting a new online business or building a new website and you have no clue how to do any of that, definitely check out Squarespace. And if you use my promo code Mikey Chen, you get 10% off your first Squarespace order. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. See you later.